Welcome back to Master Glass with me, Lee Violaro. I am honored to have America's bartender, Charlie Jolie, with me today. Uh, Charlie is the bartender of the Grammy Awards, of the Emmy Awards. He truly is a gem of a bartender. I'm excited to show you what he's going to show me today. And we're going to drink this old fashioned. Let's get into this. All right, welcome everybody. And uh, I'm really excited to have Charles Jolie out of Chicago on Master Your Glass today. I've been trying to get Charles on this show for a really long time. Of course, COVID and the pandemic had a whole other plan for our uh, futures, uh, but he's finally here. Charles is America's bartender. He won Diageo World Class, representing the United States over 50 countries. And to this day, he's the only one that has won this competition. Uh, Charles worked at the legendary aviary as the beverage director, and he's worked in many cocktail centric, but also non cocktail centric. So he can sling a drink just like all of us have. Um, but one of the reasons that really excites me about getting him on the show with you today is that Charles really likes to focus on consumers just like I do. And this show is predominantly for consumers. It's for those people at home that really want to up their game. Yep. So, Charles, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, I think that for me, the, 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 the home enthusiast is one of my favorite, my, my favorite things to do. I love to work with professional bartenders, of course, but mm -hmm. um, we got I love to lay that foundation for people. So when they get into making cocktails, um, you've got to, you know, it's just like any skill that you're going to have where you learn a new language. You got to learn conjugation and nouns and verbs before you start writing a song or totally. you know, writing a poem. You instrument, you got to learn chords and scales. And mm -hmm. the same is with cocktails. And so, yeah, I love getting people when they're as green as possible. Uh, and then we can build them up with some good habits. I love it. I love it. What are you making for us today? Cool. So this is, we're going to do a version of the old fashioned. I okay. mean, and, and if there is, if there's a cocktail of the moment of the 2020s, <laughs> it is the old fashioned. It's been absolutely on fire um, for many, many years now. Uh, and it's, it's like where, when you and I came up at first, it was martini everything, mm -hmm. you know, everything in a V-shaped glass <laughs> and, and, you know, going back 25 years. And there are, there are trends in cocktails, like there are in clothing or music or anything else. And the old fashioned is here to stay. And there's a reason, I think it's because it's such a simple cocktail. There's so many easy twists and variations you can do to it it's pretty forgiving for uh for the new bartender or so for, true uh, and it, it's something that you can tweak endlessly to make it to really take it up a notch and, and we're going to see that today this is a double smoked coffee old-fashioned okay uh, it's a cocktail that uh, that i came up with i love to do um, because it is easy to do but it's got a lot going for it in a very simple drink awesome so i've got some ice here in our mixing glass i'm tempering our big beautiful cube here in my glass and I just drained off some of that water that melted. Whenever you're using a big clear cube like this, um, you want to let it temper and all that means is taking it out of the freezer, drop it in your serving glass, about two or three minutes. Otherwise, when you pour your liquid on it, it'll fracture it. And so you I love that, that. You got that gorgeous clear cube. You want to keep it that way. I love that. That's a good one. And I never heard of tempering as a term. So that's a, that's a really yeah, good learning it's lesson. Not, and you know, when it gets that little lightning bolt through it, it's not unattractive, but you've done all this work, whether you've frozen it yourself or you've bought a nice piece of ice. Mm -hmm. You could build your old fashioned straight into your rocks or your old fashioned glass. I'm gonna choose to build it into my mixing glass. Another reason I've got this big, gorgeous cube in here. This is not gonna dilute my drink very quickly. So I wanna make sure that I'm at a good level of dilution in my mixing glass before I go here. So it's ready to drink, sip one, and it lasts. Gotcha, gotcha, good call, good call. Yes, they are stingy on giving you the water. <laughs> they're beautiful and they keep the cold, the drink cold, but they're stingy on dilution. Yeah, and, and I think that's you know something to think about when you take the big sphere, the big rock great with us if you're just sipping a neat spirit but if you've got a really high proof spirit understand that that is not going to give you a lot of water quick sometimes i actually prefer a few of these nice big mm -hmm. one inch mm -hmm. square cubes in my spirit that if i'm drinking if i want it to open up a little quicker so mm -hmm. the essence of the old-fashioned spirit bitters sugar water like that's that is you know any old-fashioned has mm -hmm. to have those things this the um the first part of the smoke, the double smoke, comes in our syrup, and it's also where our coffee comes in. I made a okay. two part sugar, one part um, dilution uh, demerara syrup, a rich syrup. Instead of using water, I used coffee though. Uh, and so we're not just adding, kind of washing the cocktail out, we're adding that depth of flavor that's gonna go great with our bourbon and the bitters we've chosen. So two parts of a raw sugar, one part hot coffee, stirred it down until it was diluted. And that's all you got to do. You can apply a little bit extra heat to it. 
uh, if you want to, but you don't want to let anything boil when you're doing your simple syrup. So regardless of what kind of syrup you're doing, one to one, two to one, um, you don't want to let it boil. It'll actually start to change the um, change the syrup and make a little bit sweeter. So. Awesome. And I'll leave a description below in uh, the show description on that syrup, how he made it as well. Yeah. So this is, you know, to taste. It's a, I used about a third of an ounce in this. Uh, you need less because it's a richer syrup. Uh, our bitters are next. So Angostura bitters is the workhorse. We're going to see that all over the place. Mm -hmm. Right, our, our friends in Trinidad with the great baking spice bitters. I grabbed two from one of my favorite companies called Bittered Sling. Um, this is a husband wife team, a bartender, and a chef that, uh, that make these bitters. Uh, they're originally from Canada, and now they're over in uh, they live in uh, the Netherlands. Um, and I've, I'm using a chocolate bitters and their coffee bitters. Awesome. Uh, and these are really well done and they actually are quite bitter. Uh, right. And that is, I mean, that is the, the flavor profile we're looking for. I know we, we hear bitters and we think it, they must be bitters, but there are some out there that are gonna be more fruit forward. Mm -hmm. they're, gonna, they're not gonna have that bitter. So we've got sweetness coming in from the sugar. You've got some um, tannins coming in from uh, our whiskey from the barrel aging. Uh, and you've got all these different flavors. We wanna introduce that bitter for a complete Gotcha. Flavor profile. And one question for you. Yeah, so please. in the in the pipette here, yeah. how much did you actually spray out of oh, it? Oh, I would say maybe about seven or eight drops. I was pretty pretty generous with the bitters in this. I want that flavor to come through. Sometimes when I'm making this uh, coffee syrup, I'll actually, uh, when it's on the uh, stove top, drop a couple cinnamon sticks or mm. some cloves or something else in there for as well. And so you can spice the syrup, but we're gonna add it all here. Awesome. And then of course the good stuff. Uh, we're using bourbon here. I'm doing two full ounces of bourbon. And uh, this is a 90 proof bourbon and bullet bourbon here. And I like something a little bit overproof. 90, mm -hmm. 100 proof is great in a cocktail like this. Something with a little bit of backbone. Mm -hmm. Give it a Well, nice after drink. all, it is the only spirit in the, in the, in, or the only alcohol in the game. So it yeah. needs to show up. Exactly. All right. Stirred that. So that's a short stir, just 10 seconds. Is that what yeah, you're? Yeah, not, not too long there. Again, this isn't, if this was a barrel strength bourbon mm -hmm. or barrel strength whiskey, I would definitely, 120 proof, I would have spent a lot more time with that. But okay. um, this is enough ice there for, for me to chill it down and get it to where it wants to be without washing it out. And I am, I know some people will be like, wow, he's using a Hawthorne strainer and not a julep strainer on his, on his mixing glass. With these wide mixing glasses, honestly, I like the Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. It holds the ice back. Unless your ice is all the way to the top, a mm. julep strainer has a tendency to fall back. And Absolutely. To me, it's just a little bit cleaner, um, and, and I like it. I mean, you learn both techniques, but sure. you know, for, for me, it's a little bit cleaner. Good call there. Absolutely agree. Uh, garnish, we're using our vegetable peeler to cut a nice swath, a nice wide swath here. And I'm going to do take two on that. Nice wide swath of orange here. And then I'm gonna trim that down. And it is different fruit. Sometimes you'll get a one that'll give you a big thick peel. Sometimes mm -hmm. you need a little bit extra. And I'm just gonna just take the extra second here to clean up my peel with a few swipes. The devil it, is in the details. It takes two seconds to do this and it's so worth it mm -hmm. uh, with the end result. We're gonna get a little burst of orange oil over the top. I'm gonna place my twist. And then we smoked once with the sugar has been smoked in, in this mm -hmm. uh, coffee syrup. We're gonna smoke it a second time in my smoking box here. Okay. Um, I designed this box and it was because I had been smoking cocktails for some time before we had this. And it, um, you know, it was something that I had homemade at first. And I was mm -hmm. like, it was clumsy to use. And so this has two doors on it. So I can put my cocktail in the back for my guests and then add whatever kind of smoke we want. Mm -hmm. And our little handheld smoker here, you can use different types of wood. We'll have different flavor. Um, cedar has a really distinct um, mm -hmm. note. You can use bourbon barrel chips, all sorts of things uh, to, to flavor in here. Awesome. So when we're, whenever you're smoking a cocktail, this is plenty of smoke in the box. You don't want it to be so, um, so cloudy that you can't see the drink anymore because right. you're going to go from mesquite to, to a burnt flavor that we really don't want. Makes sense. It's got the door on the other side because this is for my guests. If you're sitting at my bar, I can open this up and my guests Ooh, can get part of the out. action and reach right in or our servers can bring it over to the table and I can bring it to my guest. Open it up. Wow. You can reach in and be part of the action. That's awesome. I'll leave some links below on the show description on where to get the box and even where to get uh, the smoking gun. Uh, can I drink this bad boy? Oh, please, I insist. All righty. Well, let's try this out. Cheers.
Cheers. Oh, actually, I forgot because oh. I didn't want um, you to drink alone. I just, I right. uh, me to drink alone. I just had a little I classic Negroni that. equal parts on the ice ready I for you to that. go. Thank Cheers, you. salute. Let's see what this is all about. Nice little smoke aroma. I'm getting a little caramel note, so a little sweetness. There is just a slight touch of that sweetened coffee mm -hmm. on my nose. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the best way to explain this is this is truly an elevated um, old fashioned and the coffee's coming really nicely. The, sco the, the smoke is coming out really nicely and Bullet is actually doing a little bit of a, 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 actually a great job because a little bit of that spice is coming out. And so simple cocktail, simple ingredients, mm -hmm. very easy to go, but a ton of flavors. So picture your old fashioned with its traditional bitters and sweet and whiskey flavors, but then add to it a little bit of coffee, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of spice, uh, a little bit of orange, which it's probably from the orange zest, but I'm getting an even richer little orange hint to it. Um, and this is the great thing about cocktails, right? Is you put things and get together, but the, the, the sum is not the equal parts. No. It's yep. you put in five things, but it tastes like 20 things. Yep. And that's really incredible. And it's still just, you know, at the end of the day, it's a three ingredient cocktail. You still have the essence of an old fashioned mm -hmm. spirit, sugar, bitters, mm -hmm. and then water by way of dilution. So like it's true to the, true to the classic. Uh, with a bit of a modern twist. So good, so good. So a couple questions for you. Where can people reach you if they just want to follow good old Charles and yeah. and and give me a little bit of a breakdown of your tools yeah. and all yeah, that yeah. because our people at home, this is what they want. They want yeah. to elevate their yeah. bar experience. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you can find me, I'm, I'm most active on Instagram at Charles Jolie. And, and so is the dog. Uh, yes, What's and the... my pup, my pup Jackson. Jackson. Yes, I'm, a, I'm a huge uh, rescue animal mm -hmm. uh, advocate. Mm -hmm. So Actually, uh, it was just National Margarita Day and also, also National Spay Your Pet Day, uh, which is so important. So we yeah. want to, you know, like Bob Barker used to say, on, on <laughs> you know, to help control the, the, uh, the pet population. But it is something that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, I actually have a, a vintage project called Telltale Vintage on Instagram, where we sell a lot of vintage barware and different things like that. And we give a big portion of it to different animal rescues. A lot oh, very cool. Incredible. So, um, so I love that. Um, so you can check me out if you have any questions. Um, and uh, yeah, our barware is on there uh, as well. Um, and what is the name of the barware? Uh, it's called Craft House by Fortessa. It shares the name of a lovely line of bottle cocktails that we've had been out for about 10 years now. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it's That's we, incredible. Uh, 10 years old of these uh, are really um, beautiful Craft House cocktails. Um, but you can find our barware at William Sonoma, Crate and Barrel, Pottery Barn. Uh, of course, on, the, on that big website that everyone shops at um, mm -hmm. online as well. Um, carries it so uh, yeah we're in a, a bunch of great retailers and uh, and available wholesale as well for for the trade for professionals looking for glassware uh, so good yeah. uh, if there's one thing that I highly highly recommend from Charles line in addition to the smoke box which is a one-of-a-kind pieces I really love his oval ice bin okay. I usually use it here on my show and right now I'm using a, a Tupperware oval <laughs> uh, but the one what I like about that is I've always been a scooper yeah. not a dunk in and try to get it out of a round bucket yeah, but it yeah. allows you to scoop it's got a false bottom with a perforated plate on the bottom that is a gem i think it's like 119 bucks i really i think it's worth every penny of it it's freaking brilliant um by the way if you got any good tips from this show if you whether it's the bar tools the cocktail or just hanging out with charles and myself please do give this show a like it means a hell of a lot to me and if you're not subscribed to the show go ahead and smash that button it's free for today and if you hit the bell you get notified it's also free and come back to master glass with me Livio Laro, where you get expert instruction for everyday consumption